Hi and welcome to this video about uh, Samplitude, a uh, free uh, digital audio workstation, a DAW or DAW, and uh, it's a program made by Magix. I start with uh, registering at Magix to get a uh, code. I don't have an account, so I choose a new one and continue. And here I uh, just fill in the blanks giving them my uh, name and address and email address well I did block it out a little because this is of course a public medium anyway this is a pretty much a painless process just click and continue and after that you'll get a message that you'll uh, get a uh, code in the mail and it's almost instantly there copy the code and paste it into your uh, program and click continue to use the program This program is not available on the Magix website. Um, it is an uh, OAM program, Original Equipment Manufacturer, and uh, it's offered uh, as a download by some of them. So, technically speaking, it's not really free, but you can get it as a free download, and I'll uh, link to it. It's a, a simple recording program. It has all the features you can imagine. Um, like EQ, VST plugins, uh, but uh, its simplicity is that it has only eight tracks available for recording and it also has a limit on the number of plugins you can use. Okay, that said, it's a uh, very nice program. I just showed how to uh, start it and, uh, and, 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 and configure it, it's very easy to do. I'll uh, just load a, a new project now so you can see how you can work with it um, new project okay new test you have several options here the number of tracks well you can add on later you can use a project template I'm not doing that now you have several other options here available um, well just click around and you'll see and I'll click OK and as you can see here's the workspace you could record something and uh, you could also put in some uh, of the tracks that you already recorded. I'll, for the moment I'll just load a few tracks I already have on disk to show you how it works. I mean, okay, recording will be this, click here, okay, I'm using the microphone now <laughs> for uh, speaking. so. It's a little difficult to use it from uh, two input sources. Let's open an audio file. Uh, okay, I'll take the project I was working on before. Um, drum, open. Okay. Oh, that's very small. Let's make it a little bigger. Um, I'll add a bass. Okay. As you can see, I click on a track where I want to load the file that's all um, let's do an electric guitar I record this on a other program before on an Ardour um, let's throw in an acoustic open ok and finally let's throw in some vocals and a lead guitar that's the lead guitar and Focal. Okay. Well, as you can see, all tracks are now loaded. Yep. It gives playback. Uh, I hope it will do so on the video also. Let's go to the mixer because it's very loud now and all panned to the middle you can see the mixer at the view mixer and here we have all the channels 
Oh, let's lower the drum a little. Let's bring them all down a little. Um, to make a track louder, that's that's a tip I'd like to give. Um, to make a track louder, don't push the faders up a lot. That's that's for all uh, DAWs. Uh, uh, just lower the rest of them, so you'll be having. A softer sound, well, let's say you want to make the drums louder, just go back. Now the drums are a little louder than the rest. Okay, so let's see. Um, the bass, I want the bass to be centered. Um, this should be the electric guitar, but we can solo it, so I could have given them names, but oh well. Okay, I want to pan that. Now here's a knob for the panning. Let's say I'll put that to the left. This is probably the acoustic guitar. It's pretty soft. Let's turn it up and pan it to the right. Okay. Uh, as I said, it has also plugins available. Here's the bank with plugins. Here's some EQing available. Well, let's say Focal uh, needs some uh, reverb. So let's see. I'm going to put a reverb on it. As you can see, it already has a lot of uh, effects available. Uh, DSs, for example. That's a nice one. Milfox. I'll just set the basic settings. You can play around with them later on. And let's see a reverb. And I'll use a uh, intimate room with reverb. I I love this uh, mixer panel, by the way. Um, it's it's nice. It's it's compact. Um, uh, something else I want to do the electric guitar has a lot of low end I want to cut some of that okay it's nice Let's take some of the low end from the acoustic and give it a little compression, compressor, um, acoustic guitar. As you can see it has all kinds of presets, so it makes it very easy to do a little project. Uh, on the end bus, let's put a limiter on that. And let's see what they offer. Default. Well, it is not a rock song. So. Well, let's do a pop limiter. Nice. So, well, as you can see, it's it's pretty easy to do some basic mixing um, and recording with it. Well, that's just as as any other DAW uh, works. Uh, just arm a track, record, play, play a sing along. Um, it's a, a very very nice and easy to use program. Now, finally, if you have your project ready, you can click on File, Export. You can click uh, export it on uh, as a wave uh, file. You can export it as an MP3. You can export it as a uh, Windows Media, uh, AAC, FLAG, any anything you like. I'll just choose FLAG. Okay, export. That's a compressed uh, lossless format. Um, okay.
done. Let's see how it sounds. Hey.